Hi, this is Amir of Westhazen with Cape Town Emergency Medicine. Today talking about correct insertion and use of a laryngeal mask airway or LMA. An LMA is a superglottic airway that can be used for the non-definitive management of the airway or as part of a difficult airway management algorithm. The first step in using an LMA correctly is to select the correct size. Sizing of laryngeal mask airways are manufacturer specific and the instructions will usually be printed on the tube itself. In this case, we can see that it would be appropriate for an adult weighing between 50 and 70 kilograms and that the amount of air needed to inflate the LMA cuff is 30 milliliters of air. Before using the LMA airway, make sure that the cuff is fully deflated and that there is no further air in it. Once the cuff is collapsed, the next step would be to use a water-based gel lubricant to lubricate the back of the LMA device. It's important not to lubricate the airway or front as gel may obstruct the airway. Once the gel has been applied to the back, consider spreading it gently and evenly around. To insert the LMA into the patient, make sure the airway part of the LMA points towards the lungs or feet of the patient and then gently insert into the mouth it may be necessary to open the jaw slightly. Then with firm but controlled pressure, slide the LMA until you feel it seating in the pharynx and the supraglottic area of the patient. At this point, we would select the amount of air, 30 milliliters as indicated on the tube, and inflate the LMA cuff. It's important not to touch the tube itself so that the LMA cuff can seat itself anatomically without interference from outside forces. As we inflate it, we can see the tube seating and we confirm good pressure in the pilot cuff bulb. One would now ask an assistant to secure the tube with their hands while attaching a ventilation device, in this case a self-inflating bag valve device. Ventilate the patient and confirm chest rise and also listen into the epigastrium to see if there's any gurgling of air. At this point, you would secure the LMA to the patient and continue with your ventilation strategy. And that's it, correct insertion and use of an LMA.